Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at a quick test question on CERDs. It's a tough question from one of my students. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question, compare your solution. It's aimed at roundabout grade 7 of GCSE. I look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, you can follow the link below in the description to download this particular worksheet. It's based on CERDs and we're going to look at the area of this triangle and also in part B, the length of AC. So let's have a look at A, the area of the triangle. Well, in this particular case, with all triangles, we can work out area equals a half base times height. Now, some people might write base times height over two. That's perfectly fine. It's just for the purposes of this. It's kind of easier if I know that I can write this out as a line. So half. Now, my base is actually this length BC, which is root five plus two. So it's root five plus two. And I'm going to multiply that by the height, which is root five minus two, which is this height over here root 5 minus 2. And then really it's just a case of working this through. So um, I'm going to leave the half as it is at the moment. I got root 5 times root 5 is root 25. Well the square root of 25 is going to be 5. And then I've got minus 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5. Well that's those two are going to cancel themselves out but I'll write them out anyway and then finally I've got plus two times minus two well that's going to be minus four so five minus uh, two root five plus two root five those two cancel and then minus four at the end so I'm going to end with a half of basically one now as all of the dimensions are in meters then that means that the area is going to be equal to a half a meter squared and that's the answer to the first question let's have a look now at the second question okay so we're going to use pythagoras as it's a right angle triangle so i know then that this ac squared is going to be the sum of this squared and this squared added together okay so what i would do is write write this out as a squared equals b squared plus c squared. Okay, so b squared is going to be minus 5, uh, sorry, uh, root 5 minus 2 squared plus c squared, which is going to be root 5 plus 2 squared. And then again, it's really a case of working this through. So this one, well, I'm going to expand it out as root 5 minus 2 times root 5 minus 2 and then this one it's going to be root 5 plus 2 multiplied by root 5 plus 2 again okay let's expand that out that's going to give me root 5 times root 5 is root 25 which is 5 and then I've got minus 4 root 5 plus 4 and then this one is going to be uh, 5 and again it's going to be this time plus 4 root 5 plus 4. So what we end up with is minus 4 root 5 cancels with plus 4 root 5. 5 plus 4 is 9 and 5 plus 4 is 9 so it's going to be 18. So a squared is going to be 18 which means that a is equal to the root of 18 and that is actually the answer to the question. However if you do want to tidy it up a little bit you can say well that's the same as saying root 9 times root 2 which if you prefer is going to be 3 root 2, which would be the length of a C. Okay, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the video.